Maybe we got to talk to our students. You, you, got to talk to our students. Look. Hello. Juniper and I are here to tell you about bonus round. This is our week five challenges. And uh, hopefully <laughs> week five will be the end of it. So excited for quarantine to be over and to be back to class. Aren't you? Oh, you don't go to class? You would make a very fuzzy ballerina. Mwah. So um, this is for April 28th through May 4th. And uh, let's get into it. So our creativity challenge. Um, dance is not only a way to express ideas and emotions to an audience. It can be a way to express your heart to God. The heart is supposed to take a humble yet confident posture as we request what we need from God. You can see Hebrews 4.16 uh, as evidence of that. The heart should take a joyful presence, uh, posture I mean, in worship and a grieving posture as we repent of sin or feel sad about things that we're going through while we're in the presence of God. See if you can reflect your heart's posture in your actual posture. So your challenge is to write out a prayer and then create a dance with any music you choose that expresses your prayer. Um, and don't read your prayer in the video, but post it on the team app along with your video so I can see uh, how your movements correlate to the prayer that you wrote out. Um, and if your prayer is very personal, it's okay to give us a simple outline of your prayer that just looks something uh, like this. So that line would be one, joyful worship, which means the first thing I do in the dance is representing joyful worship. Uh, two, say repentance. Uh, three, asking for my needs to be met or intercessory prayer. And uh, four, resting in his presence. It doesn't have to have any certain number of different um, beats or different emotions, but the more that it has, the higher I'm going to be grading it. So the reward, of course, is that I'll pick my favorite video and it will be featured on the team app with my commendation of it. Um, strength challenge. So this is your bonus round. This will be the final strength challenge. Um, I hope. <laughs> and uh, so your final challenge is to do what seems somewhat insane. You have to do 250 releves, 75 quad killers per leg, and practice your pirouette prep uh, routine that you learned last time. You have to do that twice per leg per time you practice, and you have to practice three times over the next um, week. So you need to make sure that after doing that many um, releves and quad killers that you are stretching your calves thoroughly and your quads thoroughly. Um, and if you're in any sort of pain, you can take magnesium and calcium supplements, and you can also take a bath in Epsom salt. Um, and then you need to make sure that you're keeping your hips up throughout all of those routines, especially periwet prep, but um, also quad killers and releves. So important that you don't learn to do those with your hips down. Post a video of the releves and the quad killers all the way through so I can see that you did all of them, but you don't have to video your pirouette preps. You just want to let me know that you did accomplish that. And your reward is that you will get an extra piece of candy from my candy bin, which does have Reese's peanut butter cups in it, as well as many other options. And for this, you will get your name featured on the team app with your accomplishments displayed. So I am super excited to see you guys just knock it out of the park on this one. <laughs> So good luck, right Katie? Good luck to them. They're gonna have sore legs, which means strong legs when they come back for ballet class. Yeah, he looks like an owl when he puts his ears back. Uh, cross training challenge. So there are so many training videos on YouTube um, and something I really love to do is refit. So you can look that up if you want. Look up a YouTube video of a workout and do it for at least 20 minutes and then take a picture of you doing the most awkward or goofy looking movement that is in that workout um, and post that photo on the team app. Your reward, of course, will be that I will pick the goofiest one and copy it. And uh, I've been really loving doing this. So definitely send in your submissions, make them as weird as possible, and I will thoroughly embarrass myself copying you. 
Um, as far as the consistency challenge, this week you can drop back down to your normal number of practices. Uh, so you can pretend that you have class this week, even though you don't, you don't have to do your extra practice. Um, I want you to just take a little breath and enjoy quarantine season at its very end, hopefully, and um, and just focus on uh, extra time with family and enjoying what you've gotten out of this season that you can't get in other seasons. Um, so uh, I just want to point out one thing though, if you are, you know, cutting back that one extra practice, I do want you to still be maintaining um, extra work that you're putting into any tutorials or drill videos that you're working on. So if you feel like you need extra work before you come back to class on specific dances or specific movements, you need to do those with no reference to how many times. You just need to do them and do them and do them until it's done. <laughs> that's your that's your standard at that point. So if you do have videos that you're struggling with or you have not practiced a lot at the beginning of the quarantine, um, then you need to just buckle down, uh, you know, blow right past all of your, um, you know, two or three practices like you're supposed to be doing and just do like six, eight, ten of them um, and make sure that you're really practicing. And you don't have to do the warm up that many times, but you have to do the dances and the tutorials and the drill videos until they're accomplished. And just so you know, once you do accomplish the tutorials um, and drill videos and you get those checked off, uh, either by sending me a video or by having your mom hold the video and then watch you do it from the back so that she can compare me from the back and you from the back. And then she, if she says, yeah, that looks the same, then you're good to go. Um, and so then you can delete those from your playlist and move right along <laughs> with your life. So um, definitely do that. And if you haven't replied to my mid quarantine check-in and you'd like to send a video to me of what you've been enjoying about quarantine and what you've been hating, I would love to see that. This cat is hating the quarantine he is in, in my arms. Look at his flicky little tail. Okay guys, have a wonderful week. I love you all. Bye.